Babs Bustachian. Keeping up with the Bustachian. Now, the Guggenheim, or the Jaime, as it's known to the arty crowd, is a nice place where you can get a lovely eatery called the Nuria. I'm going to visit it, I thought, as I got off the boat at Bill Barrel. I felt a bit Bill Bowers, actually, after that journey. Now, it's got a bloody great ginormous spider at its entrance. Not very welcoming. I mean, you wouldn't get that at Jamie Oliver's now, would you? The spider is actually called Mama. Well, I don't want no big mamas on my plate, thank you very much. I'm a tad weary after the Cobra in Delhi incident. But it's got a Michelin star. Still, that doesn't stop some of these do-lally chefs putting all sorts on your dish now, does it? And I mean, I never really get what a Michelin star actually means. It's a big, fat, white, smarly man with loads of tyres round his middle representing what happens if you gastronomically feed your face too much. Well, three stars, top rating, and you're going to burst, aren't you? That's what I'm actually guessing anyway. Someone tell me different. So... Always, I say, with restraint, but not like my sisters, Blue and Brie. Oh, no, they got given two salads in Dubai recently. Sounds great, doesn't it? Except the dish came with, wait for it, homogenised goat's dung and hemorrhoids dip. Don't ask, really. I mean, perhaps it was just a little typo. Anyway, they were still trying to chew their way through it all when the cleaner come and put the lights out. I said to them, girlies, be like me, be like Babs. I always carry my Heinz condiments wherever I go in my LV rucksack. I mean, I can't digest anything without a squirt of salad cream on top. Can you? No. I mean... What a cheek. I had to wait three hours for a table at that place as I hadn't booked, they said. Well, just as well they had a bit going on there while I was waiting, wasn't it? Not like Stavros's cafe in Chingford. He's got 91 pictures of Greek sailing boats to look at and Smelly Mary as your seating companion. <laughs> little bit different here. Anyway, nothing against Smelly Mary. Anyway. I went into this room because it said Andy Warhol. Ah, I've got a Campbell soup bag made by him. And, being me, I'm after a lovely ice cream cone one. If he does them, he might do. Oh, blimey, now it's a massive room with nothing in it. Not even finished painting the walls. All different colours splashed about here and there. Oh, God, a right old carnage. Blow me over and the painter is Andy, Andy Warhol. Now, he makes lovely bags. He should stick to that. I mean, painting and decorating, well, it's a whole different ball game, isn't it? It's not his area at all. My painter stands better than that, completely better than that and cheaper. I'm guessing much cheaper. But I'm going to friend... Andy on Facebook when I get home and suggest he makes some nice Campbell soup shoes to match his bags. I mean, I'd buy them, especially if they had a little tin lid design ankle strap. Quite cute, eh? And different. See, he could make himself a few bob, couldn't he? Anyways, on to the next room. Thought of things might be looking up. Luigi Borgosi, supposed to be one of the supremos of the 20th century art world. Well, what can I say? Really? A load of old rusty metal, an electric chair, a naked woman with a big house over her head. I've seen better stuff in my mate's scrapyard in Walthamstow. I'm telling you now. And you can do a deal with him. Not with her, I'm guessing. What they need in that place is a little bit of Beryl Cook on their walls. That would cheer them up a little bit, wouldn't it? Anyway, I lost my appetite completely after seeing Mrs. Borghese. 
a copulating couple, a copulating couple, excuse me, in the doorway on my way out of that room. Well, it was enough to put you off your food for life. But look on the bright side, I was in an Uber in a flash, straight over to San Sebastian, the Basque country's real jewel in its crown, and straight into, wait for it, Boulevard de Gelato Ice Cream Parlour for the Disco Mega Mix Ice Cream Shovel It In Surprise. All you can eat for $9.99. Ah, lovely. I left there two hours later. Two dress sizes bigger and on the verge of a sugar hypo. Now, that really deserves a Michelin star. And I was ready for a disco. Shame. Shame I never had a pair of Andy's Campbell's soup stilettos on. It could have been night fever, night fever for me all night long, couldn't it? I'm telling ya. Babs Bustachian blogging off and blushing out. See you soon. I've heard you get a tasty veggie Vionetta in the Vatican. But you got to go when the Pope's not home. Because he's always masticating with the nuns. And you can't get a seat in his parlour.